Hey, what's up, everybody? Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We're playing some more Battlegrounds here in Hearthstone, and we're getting a lot of top four finishes. Unfortunately, we're not getting a lot of wins, which that's the one thing I want to change. I think I think we need to focus a little harder on leveling. I think we spent too much time like skipping some of our leveling turns just to kind of like, hey, let's get a really big creature. And I think we just need to just like focus, get to tier six, man, get some of the high level units out and I know this is one thing that I was really good at the last time we played. It took me a while to kind of understand it, but like don't necessarily settle on a particular minion type until you get to a certain point in the game. Oh my God, we got mutinous. Oh my God. Oh, of course we get tier three tier twos. Um, no, yeah, we're definitely going mutinous. Remove a friendly minion, spit its stats onto another, get one gold. Actually, you know what? I think I had played him one time. So tier six. What was this again? Remove a friendly minion, spit its stats onto another, get one gold. So if we have two minions on the board, we remove it, we get one gold back. What's your strategy this so what would be really good with you? Grab the blood gem and we'll save it. So what we really are looking for was like a tabby cat. Although I don't know beast, yeah beast or not a no. Hey, we're gonna get a lot of bananas. That's good. Interesting. Ragnaros. We've not seen a lot of these guys. Oh, hey, it's Alakir. Great. <laughs> and Patches. Uh, actually, these are some of the best dudes in the game. I've won. The one time I played as King Mukala, I just absolutely destroyed. I think we played Beast, which, thank God, there's no Beast. And there's no mech either. <laughs> <laughs> he does have elemental though. So if he's playing him, he's got to get elemental and he's got to get the AoE elemental. What tier is that? Four? Nah, yeah, the wildfire. And then just throw bananas on him nonstop, man. Uh, did we just tie? I think we just tied. I wasn't paying attention. Shoo! I know what you want me to do. We're not doing it. But here's what's cool we can actually buy, sell, buy. Although we're not actually going to sell because we're just gonna spit it. So, that three one's gonna go on whoever we buy next turn. So we gotta kinda like look at that. Is there a specific tier two, tier one dude that we really want long term? Murlocs, you know, I don't hate the idea of Murlocs here. The problem is the lack of poison on Murlocs now. Just really, like, and here's what's so annoying about it. So there used to be a Murloc where basically once you played it, he basically gave any other Murloc poison. He was basically worthless other than that. You could basically give any of your Murlocs poison. What sucks is like Murlocs were not necessarily overpowered. And in fact, they were really great to stop, you know, large boards before. Um, okay, maybe we go pirates now instead. I also don't necessarily hate the idea of you. I've not tried quill boards with the new patch. I'll catch you next. We'll try it. You could argue, you know, maybe save. Cause I'm not gonna have another blood gem for a bit. So you could argue maybe saving it that turn, but hopefully next turn we get some blood gem units. Yeah, I've really not tried quill boards in the new update. Quill boards used to be stupid good. I don't know if they're still stupid good. Uh, Charglo is so great. They look pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm trying to see if anything here is not quite the same. Dynamic Duo is still there. Banner Boar still there. Wow, well, I think they're pretty much the same from what I can tell. Okay, sorry Patches. Sorry Patches. Now, we gotta keep in mind, the goal is to spit. To, you know, get better units by spitting all right or we're just gonna pirate again huh trying to think if this does anything for us i don't think so i was debating about potentially just spitting you know what we could do I mean, how much do we want to go triples? Because we could spit you onto you. 
is a potential. Making you four, I mean, it gives me an opportunity to re-roll, I suppose. Uh, actually, we'll be able to re-roll twice. And you know what? I don't hate that. Because what we're really wanting is we want a sunbake and relaxer. So when we spit you, so we're going to be at seven gold. Which means after we upgrade, we're going to have uh, four gold left. Because it's going to cost us three. Which means we can buy one, which leaves us one gold left. So then, we spit you out. That gives us two gold. And then if we are lucky enough to actually get a sun bacon relaxer, we buy and then sell. And then we have three gold and we can buy another one. That did not happen at all. So, okay. Don't really like this at all. No. Do we search? Do we dig deeper? I mean, it's weird having two of these guys. Because obviously having two of these guys makes me want to buy both of them. But you could say the same thing about the scale hound. I think we search one time. A good tactical choice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like this. This isn't a great board right now, but it's okay. I mean, it's fine for where we're at. Although Alec here is probably going to destroy us because, you know, Alec here. I'm surprised we've not gotten any bananas. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's not playing it right. You want a banana every single turn? Unless he doesn't give bananas to anyone else yet. Yeah, give everyone else a banana. So, I don't know what he's doing. Ironically, we actually are a hard counter to him because those bananas just won't go to waste with us because we're just going to keep, you know, devouring. Oh, hey, there's a chance we don't lose. Ironically. Not really. The best board right now. Also, I'm kind of shocked. Why do you have the sun bacon and not actually like you buy the sun bacon to immediately sell? That's the point of the sun bacon. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other reason to have the sun bacon. Suck it, Alec here. No perfect this time, punk. Take the eight damage. Yeah. That was actually nice higher than it should have been. Keep up the press. Gain a blood gem. We're at eight. This is not, uh, this is a search turn. Hold up. Maybe? I mean, there's no reason to give you the blood gems. Although you are a quill bore, which technically gives me a quill bore here. So, you know what? I am going to do this. Lost to the past. Oh, I was actually supposed to play it on you. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't really matter. Then... Let's go ahead and give this to you. We don't need to spit the stats yet. Because we don't have room on the board. Go ahead and hire one so, after friendly minion loses divine shield, gain a blood gem. Interesting. So, you're actually going to be really kind of good for us. Okay. Sure so, we'll pick him up. We'll be at 6-9, so that's going to be perfect turn for us. And we'll play you out, which is then going to give us a blood gem, which we can put on him. Which then will actually give us... We'll start getting two blood gems per turn then. You Hey, you finally gave us a freaking banana, buddy. Who do we want a banana, man? I don't know. We really want to blood gem this guy, though. Which is kind of the weird part. So it's basically 30-30-30 on this. So I think what it's going to come down to is whether or not we kill this guy. You won't kill him, but you will do damage. That's fine. Kill you. Thank you. All right, so I think we tied. Nope, we won. Okay, nice. Nice. We're still perfect here, too. Interesting. And the funny thing is, I have to say, we don't, we haven't really used our power that well yet. <laughs> there just hasn't been a lot of opportunity. So we're gonna upgrade. 
We're gonna grab you. We're gonna spit your stats onto someone else. That I'm totally fine with. Uh, you're gonna gain a divine shield, or you're gonna gain us blood gems every time, which is fine. These guys are all, well, this guy is worthless. And this guy's probably worthless long term, too. That, I mean, he's only good if we're playing Divine Shield every single turn. So, anyways, we're doing that just so we can get another Blood Gem from you. Then. Next turn, we. Sh we actually, we will only have two Blood Gems next turn if we can play another Quillbore next turn. Huh. Didn't think about that one. Still not gotten a triple here yet either. The other thing, by the way, I was talking earlier about the Murloc and the Poison Murloc. What also worked really well is you would get the Primal Fin Lookout and then you could discover another Murloc, specifically giving you the Poison Murloc. It was just, it was great strats. It worked really, really well. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen anymore. So you just need to be at the end, buddy. And then you guys just suck. So, I mean, there really is no reason to play you before. Like, I... I... Uh, now, I'm going to keep it like this, just in case they're swiping. Even though there probably isn't swiping, there is potential the elemental one. We could be getting wildfired here. All right, let's see how strong the king is right now. He's only done it twice, so I can't imagine he's that strong. Okay, he's a little stronger than I would like to admit. Swolfin came in handy. Yep. Yeah, that Swolfin did just absolutely wrecked our life. That's unfortunate, man. Okay. We're going to take a bunch of damage. And he's tier 3, too, which is also annoying. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. This is where swipe would be really nice. You know, just throwing that one out there. But it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Give me the sun bacon. You guys are random demons. We don't care. Um, this is a search turn, I think. Getting Bob's Tavern cheaper, I don't think, helps us. There we go. Here's your reward. Yes. Okay. Hear me out. Play you out. That's going to give us a double blood gem. All right. We play this honor. Please. Discover tier five. Yes, please. Give them one plus one plus one. Sell you. We want you out here. We also want you... God dang it. And we also want you. Oh, that's once per turn. Okay, that's fine. Then we grab you. Go here. Boom. We banana you to get the extra bonus damage. We blood you. Um, why am I not spitting Brian? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm so freaking stupid. Uh, and then I think we do you one more time. So I shouldn't be doing bananas on you. Yeah, that works. Doing you, I probably should be blood jimmy as well, but uh, the ground shaker is just way better. Okay. Okay. I think we found ourselves a pretty okay game here. I absolutely 100% hate the fact that he got to go first there. Double kill, though. Would have been really nice if you would have hit that guy. Just throwing that one out there. I think we pulled a tie. No, we got the win. No, we got the tie. Okay, that's fine. 20%. Only one blood gem, though. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we screwed that last turn up a lot, man. Give a friendly elemental. Stats equal to your tavern tier. Not a bad thing for us right now. This was the only way we got a blood gem. Is that the only way we're giving a blood gem? I think so. Oh, I can't actually do this. I gotta buy you first. Hold up. Like Sell. Give me elemental. Now you're at 12.9. We definitely have to blood gem you to get the bonus damage on everyone, the bonus attack. Although, ah, man. There we go. Okay, we have to buy both of these guys. Yeah, see, we screwed this up a little bit. Again, our ordering was not the best. Then he's going to give us a blood gem no matter what. Sell you. 
So I'm saying I don't think I need you. I think we got to start here, and I think we got to go here. I think we do something like this. And then we give the banana to you. Do we want to taunt here? I don't think so. Oh, we still have three. Uh, Let's go searching. No, we don't want you anymore. Sun bacon. Yes, please. Yes, please. Who are we going to sell to get the sun bacon? That's actually an interesting Let's question. You <laughs> Probably you. You're fine. You're not super great long term, though. So I just need you to attack. That was kind of the big goal here. And he died, but anyways, he gave us a blood gem. We could also just get rid of you, because you're not actually that great. The whole idea was he was like how we're going to gain our blood gems. That's nice. He needs to get a lot more HP, though, or a lot more damage. But we're getting bananas every turn. So. We need Chalga. That's what we need. We need to get to tier 6 here. Dang it. This guy just kicked our butt. Tier three, six, ha! Ah, too much damage, man. Oi. Well, there goes our first place. Freaking 11 damage. Oi, 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 oi. We, we screwed that turn up, though. We should have had a lot more damage on the board. Like, you should have had more HP. Um, you should have had more HP damage, so. Also, did we do this last turn? I think we did. So you're not that great, in my opinion. We need to level up. You actually do benefit me. Okay. Do this, sell, play, and the Menagerie Mug is just kind of worthless, but that's okay. So, now we go hard on you. Give you the banana. Go hard. Go hard. And so you're giving everyone attack. This guy's getting the boost because he's getting the, the boost from this. You're getting pretty crazy as well. Maybe should have played on you for the Divine Shield, but it, it's okay. It's okay. But the big thing is now we have 22 damage on you. Okay. Okay. We have a shot here. Yeah, we might be able to kill him. Or at least not die. Mm. Okay, so you unfortunately attacked the one guy that does not help me. Uh, the luck here we are having is just out of control. <laughs> God dang it, dude. Oh, come on, man. 6-7, that's fine. Oy. All right, we're in danger range now. We are in danger range. Alakir's out. Oh, thank God. Thank God. And we're playing a dead guy. Is that dead Alakir? We're playing dead Alakir. <laughs> uh, shooty. Run and hide. Okay, so we're at 10 of 10 right now. We can't do anything. So what are we looking for? I don't even know at this point. Um, go ahead and spit your stats onto someone else so we don't forget about this. We could go tier 6 right now. Sun bacon, definitely, yes. Do we want to grab this guy? The poison guy also is not the worst thing in the world either. Just throwing that out there. The big thing is, will Alakir attack before us? And I think the answer is probably yes. Which sucks. Okay. Play you out. We are going to give him one just so we can get the divine shield. And then we're going to buff you twice. And we're going to live with this. I think we grab you and you. Just for triples. Next turn. Do we have enough to beat him? Maybe. Maybe. Actually, did we play him six turns ago? Maybe we didn't play him recently. Maybe he's not the scary one. Am I thinking? You know what? I think I was thinking of Ragnaros. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. So we should be okay here, surely. To a guy that just died. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it's like, please. Now, the thing is, I need you to get more HP. 
Don't I because we want to gain so we want him to attack twice is what sucks Maybe I should have you lead so that the wind filler fury guy can attack twice that actually might be the play We should also pay attention to who we're playing and adjust our board accordingly. All right, we're top four So who do we want to play probably first place? Instead we're playing Ragnaros, which is freaking scary Do we have anything to spit? I mean, we could spit out his stats, theoretically. He's just so bad. It's just too late for him. Here's the big question. Do we live through this? I don't know. My Hate that. I give you my blood. Hate that. And of course, the triple is the next roll. Ugh. Maybe I should spit you out. Yeah, maybe that's what we should do. Because we're not using the divine shield. That's what we should do. Because if you go on to you or on you, that's just like 10 of 10. That's what we should have done. Yeah. I got I to gotta think differently here about Mutinous. Mm-hmm. I really got to think differently about him. Because I'm looking at my big guy thinking, I don't want to get rid of my big guy because he's my big guy. Not really sitting there thinking, wait a second, Brian. Just because he's your big guy doesn't mean he can't just absolutely destroy. Okay. Big thing is going to be this guy. Hey, we actually got doubles. That's nice. So we're going to get two blood gems. So if we survive this, <laughs> there is a good chance life goes well for us. Uh, I need I need to hit this guy I think we're gonna live I think this has worked out well enough that we're gonna live yes yes tier ones so we lost but you got what six seven eight points not enough to kill us okay okay I think we can pull this back because I think we know what to do now first things first though buy this guy waste your money um we want to be tier six Remember. That put us at eight gold. The problem is if I upgrade, I can't buy another creature, another minion. And we need another minion out there. Especially since I did just get rid of one of my biggest minions. Who did you go on, by the way? The one dude I really don't want you to be on, but that's okay. Uh, what do you have? You have elementals. I'm wondering if the poison's worth it. Get another ground shaker. Man, I don't know what to do. A good tactical choice. Yeah, I don't like this at all. So what I really should have done is got rid of you and then play another one. Because once again, I'd rather your stats be on basically anyone else. Yeah. I knew we were going to die too. I was like, we're, we're screwed. Because I just don't know what to do. And the fact is that he just has that beefy dude that just kills both of my taunters instantly. Just like, we're screwed. Uh, well, we got third place. So, not a good one. Not a good one. But... I think, I think where we screwed up is we should have gone straight for six because we needed Charga. And the fact that we were trying to just dig, dig too deep. Because I think he was tier six too, yeah. And he ended up losing to a dead guy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, we're getting close. We're getting close. I just got to like... 
I think what it is, is I'm so used to playing early game because I played the early game so well. I know how to like play the early game and react to different like strategies early game. But when it gets to the late game, I just like, I just don't have enough experience with it. I mean, I've technically what only played like a hundred games or so. So, you know, anyways, for now, we're going to wrap the episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did drop a like comment, let me know what you think. As always hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. Um, was that the first top four for him? That must have been. Oh, this is the first time we actually played as him, too. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to get first place with everyone, but that's going to take forever. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.